guys, so we have an urgent breaking news coming out. More than 300 earthquake rocked underwater volcano off U.S. West Coast. And this is not looking good. I just posted a video not too long ago. Mount Rainier volcano out there in, um, I believe, Washington State. I mean, it's getting hit with over 800 earthquakes. So you got some burning mountain but this one here is uh in the pacific ocean all right so it's deep in a pacific ocean and this thing is uh getting ready to blow all right so 300 earthquakes all right so we're gonna see what's going on here guys we have some breaking news multiple breaking news uh i'm just gonna show this really quick um number one that it's a flash flood warning including in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, Burlington, North Carolina, and Carboa, North Carolina, until 12 a.m. Eastern Time. 430,875 people, 90 schools, and three hospitals. They're urging everyone to seek higher ground immediately. Move immediately to higher ground. Once again, avoid walking or driving through flood waters. Please make sure you guys are safe. Prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. Here's another one. Flash flood warning, including Saluda, Virginia, Obana, Virginia, and Irvington, Virginia. Population, well, 20,995. Eight schools and one hospital. Again, they are urging uh, people to move uh, to higher ground and avoid walking or driving through flood waters. All right, so this is a very important breaking news here. Please share the video. We have more information. A bit of good news after the devastating floods in Texas. More than 100 people previously reported as missing had been confirmed safe. Only three are still missing. Wow. That is good news. But let's pray for those three that are still missing. Number of reported missing from July 4th. Flood drops to three. Kirkville, Texas, July 19, 2025. We're going to get with the underground volcano, but let me just bring this one up. This is a breaking news in a breaking news. So the Kirk County Flood Disaster Joint Information Center has confirmed that three individuals remain missing at this time from the July 4th event through extensive follow-up work among state and local agency many individuals who were initially reported as missing have been verified as safe and removed from the list this has been an ongoing effort as investigator worked diligently to verify reports of missing persons and confirms of their status. Now it says here, we are profoundly grateful to uh, the more than 1,000 locate um, state and federal authorities who have worked tirelessly in the wake of the devastating events that struck our community. Give me a second here, guys. Uh, Kirkville City Manager Dalton Rice said, Now, thanks to their extraordinary efforts, the number of individuals previously listed as missing has dropped from over 160 to 3. This remarkable progress reflects countless hours of coordinated search and rescue operation, careful investigative work, and an unwavering commitment to bringing clarity and hope to families during an unimaginably difficult time, Rice said. To every member of law enforcement, fire and rescue, emergency management, and supporting agency, thank you, Kirk County Judge Rob Kelly said. Your dedication, professionalism, and compassion have brought comfort and answers to many, to so many. Kirkville Mayor Joe Herring Jr. added, Our thoughts remain with the families still awaiting news. 
and we will continue to stand with them as efforts persist. Recovering operation continued throughout the Guadalupe River, water washed, uh, excuse me, watershed, uh, by local, state, national, and international search teams who continue to work to reunite the missing with their families. Once again, this is a breaking news that's coming out today, July 19. So this is a bit of a good news after the devastating event that took place in Texas. And this is the last one, and then we're going to go with the volcano, underground volcano. Breaking news. Maryland flash flood emergency triggers water rescues. Torrental rainfall dumped three to five inches rapidly across central Maryland. It says here, overwhelming drainage system and prompting multiple water rescues in Montgomery County. You have the National Weather Service said that a uh, particularly dangerous event affecting Bethesda, Tacoma Park, Chevy Chase, Silver Spring, and Wheaton. Emergency officials warn of significant flash flooding along the Slingle Creek watershed as a river guards recorded a dramatic 10-foot rise in just 30 minutes. Rainfall rates hit 1 to 2 inches per hour, with an additional 1 to 4 inches possible as storm train over the same areas. Maryland National Capital Park Police photos showed recreational areas completely submerged with playground under water. No injuries reported initially, though water rescue continue. So once again, this is happening in Maryland. So we did talk about D.C. and uh, now it seems like North Carolina, Maryland. I mean, it just flash flood is no joke, and it's uh, it's getting worse by the hour. All right, guys. Now we're gonna go with the underground volcano. But before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife Jessica Santiago at three four three two U.S. Highway nineteen number two. Holiday Florida 34691. And for those of you that want to help and support this channel, the Cash App link and the PayPal link will be in the comments box and also description box. Uh, again, another way to support the channel is through Patreon. $5 a month will get you access to our live stream once a week. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Thank you so much for tuning in and God bless to every single one of you guys. Thank you so much, and uh, continue to pray for Texas. Also pray for multiple states that's getting hit right now by flash flood. And, um, yeah, 2025 has been a big surprise, massive, crazy event. And it's only, the, it's only half of 2025. We still have another five or six months. All right, so a massive underwater volcano up the coast of Oregon has been rocked. By hundreds of earthquakes a day, a sign that it could soon erupt. Exio, Seamount, the most active volcano in the Pacific Northwest, is nestled about 300 miles off the coastline and nearly a mile beneath the ocean surface. Hmm. Now, we did talk about this, but... Uh, yeah, 300 earthquake is something very concerning, guys. Scientists have detected around 100 earthquake per day. Per day? That's a lot. 100 earthquake per day, with recent peaks hitting 300 a day. Seismic activity is a sign magma is moving up through cracks in the volcano. The cracks are small, typically magnitude 1 or 2, and too far offshore for humans to feel. But they're frequent. So they're saying if this thing blows, it's not going to affect us. We're not even going to feel it, they said. But who knows? Maybe this thing could shift a tectonic plate and cause a big, big issue. William, a professor, I'm going to skip all that, said if this was a volcano in places where people live, they will be evacuated. 
expert believe pressure is building, magma is on the move, and a stage may be set for an eruption similar to the spectacular one that occurred in 2015, which saw 500 earthquakes per day, then 1,000, and then 2,000. Since the magma is rising from deep within the earth through a complicated and irregular pathway, the inflation has been less uniform and slower than in past eruption, making this event harder to predict. Now we think there will be some warning, Mr. Williams said. Uh, but then again, volcanoes do tend to surprise people. All right, so this is one of the pictures. Hmm. Here's another one. Look at this picture. So if that thing blows, nothing's going to happen. But just looking at this picture, it seems like this thing could cause some kind of tsunami or something. Um, it says here, the uncertainty means that the volcano, by all appearances, may erupt any day now, but researchers believe it's likelier the eruption will come by July 2026, or as late as 2027. Didn't they say that it was going to happen this year? Uh, so when Axial Seamount does erupt, the number of underwater crakes is expected to skyrocket, rising from 100 per day, right now to as many as 10,000 earthquake within 24 hours. 10,000 earthquake in one day and nothing's gonna happen to us? At the heart of the volcano lies a magma chamber, a reservoir of molten rock half a mile beneath the seafloor. As magma rises, it inf inflates the chamber like a balloon stressing the surrounding uh, surrounding rock and triggering swarms of tiny earthquakes. Scientists have installed an array of ultra sensitive sensors including underwater seismometers uh, uh, and GPS stations to monitor every shake and swell beneath the waves. But it is not just the earthquake that have them on alert. Another warning sign is inflation, the slow sw uh, slow swelling of the volcano as magma fills the chamber below. In 2015, Axial Seamount was inflated, or inflating, excuse me, at two feet per year. Now it's rising at about eight inches annually. That's still significant, but less predictable. This time, it's been very erratic. So it inflated quickly, then almost completely stopped. That's what's made this eruption harder to predict. It's another picture, a foot tall vent, mushroom. Only time will tell when these things blow. I mean, you got multiple volcanoes out there in even Alaska. These things are going to blow soon. When a volcano erupted a decade ago, lava came pouring out, producing 450 foot thick lava flows. It also formed massive structures known as pillar lavas, bulbous tubes of molten rock that solidify quickly in seawater. Additionally, the eruption trigger roughly 8,000 earthquake causing the bottom of the ocean to sink nearly eight feet. Wow. This time, there's also the possibility that lava could erupt from a dike, a crack that pushes magma sideways through the earth crust rather than directly out of the seafloor. Emily 
a geo position at the University of Oregon said if that happens the magma could travel uh, laterally and erupt somewhere unexpected due to the volcano remote location an eruption wouldn't threaten life directly but scientists are still watching it closely the forecasting knowledge scientists have gained from studying the Exio Seamount could help them predict eruption from nearby volcano that do pose a risk to many. Wow. Not too far from Oregon, Washington, and California. And at the same time, we did talk about the volcano out there, the uh, the Mount Rainer. Um, I'm just going to skip this one here. I did post a video not too long ago. But that's where we at right now, guys. So 300 earthquake rocked the undersea volcano. And then you have 800 earthquake rocked Mount Rainier. So we are definitely seeing some earthquakes going on. And also, you can't forget about Alaska. There's also earthquake going on in those volcano. Eventually, one of these burning mountains is going to blow. And um, again, like I said, guys, I'm not trying to put any fear, but uh, this, those, those volcanoes is going to erupt. All right. So the one in uh, Oregon, like the water, um, that's not going to impact no one, according to expert. We don't know that. But uh, again, that's their prediction. But uh, Mount Rainier, uh, we need to keep an eye on that. Anyway, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please share the video. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $5 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream. Once a week, we talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I'll post the video today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.